Okay, so lesson one in our families, once again, in each of the lessons, there is a list at the bottom of the first page for the activity of the materials that you'll be needing for that activity. Uh, those are the materials that I would put here in my book. I would count out as many as I need for that class, and I'd put them in the book. So this time around, we'd need their table tents, we would need uh, a sheet of their stickers and the booklet and the family's poster, which is the key to every one of these lessons in this program. So this would constantly be posted on the wall in the classroom when I walk in. Um, one of the things I do is put a roll of scotch tape uh, in my kit, just in case there are no magnets on a whiteboard or there's no way to put that poster up on the wall in that classroom, because it's really important that the children see the whole poster all the time when you're having this program running. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we'd get familiar with that poster during this first lesson, and I'd ask the children to look at it and see what jobs they see people doing in the poster. And they are obviously going to see a lot of them that are pretty apparent, and some are not so apparent. Uh, so I'd continue to work with them for a bit until they've identified a good number of the jobs that are shown on the poster. And then the fun begins when I give them this booklet, and I'll hand it to them and I'll say to them, do you notice anything about that? And it'll take a few minutes sometimes, but eventually one of the kids will say, hey, that's the same as the poster, which is exactly what I hoped they would find out. So they do. And then they begin to take a look at everything here. Um, the other thing that we do then is you know, we're identifying buildings, we're identifying people, we're identifying jobs, um, and then we begin to take a look at the booklet. They know by now that when they see a line and it says name, they put their name, and that's what we're going to do. This is a booklet that they are creating, so it's a booklet of, by them. And then we're going to look at each of the pages, and we're going, to, I always would start by asking them, what is that shape? And usually they don't have problems saying it. Occasionally there's a child who's not familiar with shapes quite yet. But then they would pick up, you know, we'd read the question together, and we'd read the answer together, and then we would find that person on the map and look at that picture. And they'll get, you know, they'll be pretty satisfied that they've been able to find these people. So we move to the next one. What's the shape of that? What is the shape called? Let's read the question and the answer. And so we go to the end of the book and we, you know, we fill in, well, let's see, we'll go to the last page here before the end of the book, I should say. And then I'll say, now what's missing from this book? And they would recognize maybe that it doesn't have pictures. And so I usually will say, does anybody here like stickers? You don't like stickers, do you? And of course they all do, they love stickers. So then they get their sticker page. And once again, we go back through the booklet, and one sticker at a time, we would fill in the booklet. What I would always do, again, when I, before I even hand out this page, I would show it to them, and I would say to them, now, you are going to get this list of these page of stickers. Do not, do not remove any sticker until I tell you to. Because every time, if you don't say that, they will begin immediately start removing stickers and plant because they love stickers but if they do they will obviously not be correct for a while so I make sure that they don't do that and then the teacher and if there's a teacher aide in the classroom will work with me and kind of be around the classroom and we'll begin to identify each sticker that goes on each page and again I would clearly say to them the sticker goes on top of that shape so it covers up the shape and they should have the sticker pretty much in the center of the page they don't know that without us telling them. So be sure and say to them that that sticker has to cover up the, the shape and should be in the middle of the page. Occasionally there'll be a child who will do it wrong and they'll be all frustrated. And we'll say to them, if you put it in the wrong place, if you don't listen, you may not be able to pull it off the page. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. The other thing is that, you know, you may have extra booklets, but you probably don't want them to get used to, well, if I do it wrong, I can get another one. So listening to directions is really critical, and that's something I try to stress very strongly. At the end of this lesson, you'll be giving them a postcard, which 
every junior achievement program has. And there are maybe three things about this postcard that are important. So once again, I would hand this up. This is their gift for the day, and they get a gift with every, every activity, which is fun for them. <coughs> Excuse me. The back of the postcard is a message to their families about what happened today and who we are. The front, I would say clearly to the children before I hand it to them, do not remove this. They will right away notice that it's probably removable, and they'll want to take it off. But I know, for the most part, they may lose that if it gets disconnected. So I ask them to hold it and bring it home to their families and then take it off the card and then they'll find out that they can remove the center part and they'll have a picture frame as well as a magnet and it'll be wonderful if it gets home intact. So that's just another suggestion you might want to consider for that postcard. First lesson, we want to talk about what a family is or who is a family. And one of the ways I help them to figure that out is that it's usually the people who live with you. And that may not always necessarily be mommy, daddy, brother, sister, dog and cat. It might be grandma, it might be uncle, it might be who knows, all kinds of people. Families are not just mommy, daddy, sister, brother. Families are the people that we live with, the people that we mostly are involved with, the people who care about us, and the people that take care of us and we help take care of them.